What if I told you that this USB microphone that you are hearing right now was bought for only $49. That's less than 50. That's insane. And you can clearly hear how amazing it sounds right now. Well, this bad boy right here is the Razer Siren Mini. And with a few tweaks and changes, you can get it sounding pretty close to a studio microphone, getting it bassy, getting it crispy, getting it sounding absolutely amazing, give you the best bang for your buck. So to get our Razer Siren Mini sounding absolutely incredible, the first thing we want to do is get it as close to our mouth as possible. Right now, I have taken it apart and I'm actually holding it close to my mouth, just simulating what it would be like having it on a boom arm. Right now, I'm currently missing an attachment that I need to connect it to my boom arm. So I'm actually going to make a makeshift version where I'm actually going to just like tie it to my boom arm <laughs> and just get it as close to my mouth as possible. The second thing you want to do is make sure you're talking into it, into the front of it. You, you don't want to be talking like this? No, we, we, we don't do that yet. We, we, we don't do that yet. We kick you out. No, you want to make sure you're talking to the front of the microphone, which looks like this when it's plugged on. Okay, perfect. We've got it on a boom arm. We've got it close to our mouth. Now that is going to make it sound better in every single platform from Discord, from TeamSpeak, from in-game. It's going to make a huge difference there already. Here's a bit of a comparison of having it on a desk versus having it on a boom arm. When it's on the desk, it's pretty far away from you and it's going to be picking up a lot more echo. If I were to just tap my desk, you're more likely to hear that. If I click my mouse, you're likely to hear that. So that is just something to keep in mind is why you should put it on a boom arm as soon as possible. Now I've watched a few reviews on boom arms to find out which ones fit the Razer Siren Mini. So I'll make sure to link those down below for you guys as well, as well as to the reviews of them if you don't really trust me. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some audio filters to our USB microphone. Now a bit of a disclaimer and the disclaimer is that this will only affect it for when you're live streaming, for if you're recording a voice over, maybe you're making a YouTube video and you're just recording in general. These filters aren't going to carry through to Discord or to TeamSpeak. That's where having it on a boom arm and getting as close to your mouth as possible comes in handy. These filters are purely for when you're live streaming or if you're recording a voice over. So let's jump into Streamlabs. Sweet. So I'm here in Streamlabs and one of the first things we want to do if we want to click on this cogwheel icon right over here and we're going to go on over to filters there's a few that we're going to be adding and i've mentioned these in my previous videos and i just see now having it on a boom arm makes it sound a hell of a lot better so we are adding an expander a compressor a noise suppression and a plugin which i'll show you how to download it's super simple and super easy and nothing to even be intimidated by so with the expander we're just going to click on the plus icon over here and what you can do is you're going to type out expander and then it's going to come up over here. So you'll just click on it and then you'll say done. And then it's going to come up over here. Now these are the settings I have set for the Razer Siren Mini, which is I have ratio 4, threshold 2, minus 25.4, attack 2, release 100, and output gain on 0. I need to sneeze. I don't know when it's going to come. It's, it's like I need to sneeze and you know when it's sitting there but it doesn't want to come because you are acknowledging your sneeze and it's intimidated by you. That's what's happening right now. Then the next thing we're going to add is a compressor. So we set that to four minus 13.5, 213 and none. The next one's going to be a bit of a noise suppression, which will take out a lot of the, the reverb in your room or some of those annoying sounds that can get picked up by the microphone since there's no additional settings on the microphone like volume control. So I've set mine to minus eight. Now the next thing we're going to be adding is a plugin called Marvel GEQ. And it's super simple and quick to download. And so I'll make sure the link is in the description below. You're just going to download that, run through the installation process. Once it's finished installing, you're just going to close your OBS or Streamlabs OBS and then reopen it. And then when you come over here to the plus icon, and if you type in VST, this plugin will pop up and you're just going to click on that and then click done and then here what's going to happen is you're going to select marvelgeq.dll and what's amazing about this plugin is you can give your voice more bass you can take away bass you can raise the pitches you can lower the pitches it's all fully in your control but check here so if we click open plugin interface it's going to show up over here let me bring it over to my screen now i've already got mine set 
to what I use it at. But if you just click on presets, I've got mine on brighter and base and you just click there and you click activate and then you click this X icon. Boom, it sets it up here. Here's a bit of an example of what happens when we start tweaking all the values. And this is how my voice will change with each one. I know a lot of it's going to make me sound pretty weird and pretty wonky. But, you know, just to kind of show you how much control you have. And if you were to raise up these controls, just to show you how it changes my voice. And you can mess around with this and have some fun. And you can get yourself sounding pretty weird and crazy. But I just simply, I click on presets. I activate bright and bassy. And I'm happy with this preset. For me, it sounds the best. I get the best EQ and sounding pretty dope. To close this, all you gotta do is click the close plugin interface and then click done. Now, whenever you open up your Streamlabs OBS, that plugin interface is going to open up with it. And there you just always have to make sure that you set it to the, the brighter and bassy preset. And then you're going to be sounding absolutely phenomenal in every Twitch stream, every YouTube video that you record, no matter the microphone you are using. But as I said before, this is how to make your Razer Siren Mini sound absolutely mind-blowing incredible and hopefully i believe i've delivered on that so if this helped you out in any way maybe leave a like leave a comment down below to say thanks bud and uh i'll see you guys in the next video